People generally don't know about what lives in rivers and lakes, the reason being the water's murky and so you can't make a conventional program, you can't send somebody in with an underwater camera. So what I do is I use a fishing line, but this to me is more of a, a means to an end. It's sort of it sort of is about fishing, but it's not about fishing. It's more about the end result. It's more about the fish themselves. A lot of the fish that I go after, I initially hear about them or find out about them from old books, so old sources of um, exploration or whatever. The thing is, there's a limit to how much you can find out remotely. There comes a point where you've got to just go and, and start um, intelligence gathering on the ground. And the approach that I make a point of taking is, is communicating directly with the local people. What's interesting is a lot of these places like the Congo, the Amazon, fishing is very much central to people's lives. It's not a, a, an eccentric um, minority activity as it is in, in parts of the Western world. So this is something that's very important to them. And once they actually um, get a sense that I know what I'm talking about, that I am actually capable of catching fish even though I'm, I'm an outsider, they'll open up, they'll tell me things they possibly wouldn't tell other outsiders. And then we go on from there. I think the fish that really stands out for me is the Goliath tiger fish from the Congo. Um, this is a fish that in appearance it looks like a giant piranha and in fact it, it is a relative of the piranha. In uh, 2000, finally caught a, a large Goliath tiger fish, 78 pounds. Incredible looking thing, wonderful silvery scales splash of red on the tail but it's just got these diabolical jaws um, just like a piranha's jaws scaled up teeth an inch long that's the same size as the teeth on a 1000 pound great white but this is a fish living in a river that most people just have no idea that it's there but to catch a big one if you take the time from my very first going to that part of the world to actually catching it in 25 years so um, I don't think there's enough life left now to have any sort of similar kind of experience. So there's a sort of a bit of masochism possibly in it, but I think one thing that's very significant is that any achievement is directly proportional to the amount of work, the amount of suffering that you've been through. So although it might not be very pleasant at the time, um, well there are certainly moments, but it's looking back on it, you think yes that was really worth doing. Think about the the fish that I go after, or most of them, is the fact that they are the apex predators. And the good thing about catching them is that if the apex predator is there, it shows that um, everything further down the food pyramid is also there. So it's a very, very good sign of the health of a river. Uh, I often say that a world without river monsters is actually more frightening than a world with them.